Hello, everyone. How are you tonight? I hope you're doing well and enjoying the beautiful weather. I understand it's supposed to get really, 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 really warm again next week. Hello, Nancy Van Puren. Hello, everyone. And next week, you Hello, are Nancy. right on the spot here. I am two minutes late. Um, I uh, thought I'd put a description in. Yes, beautiful Frankfurt. Hello, Nancy Jones. Um, I thought I'd put a description in on this um, video, and it took me longer than what I had anticipated. All right, I think we're ready there. How is? How are you guys? I hope you're good. I had a busy day today. I actually just got home at 6.30 after running around all day. And um, <laughs> I did a thing. <laughs> I hope I don't gross you out, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So my stand, my camera stand is like falling. So it wants to be really thirsty. So I thought, oh, good cold glass of milk. Sounds so good. I poured my glass of milk and took a big swig it was sour milk oh my gosh yuck 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 we're having problems here what's going on okay we're back again hello jenny yes happy pre-friday friday eve is that what it is friday eve yeah it would be friday eve how are you doing jenny you're going to be happy. I heard that uh, you wanted me to do a certain card tonight. So I thought, oh boy, I don't know if I could do it <laughs> live, but I'm going to try. Hello, Robin Patsfield from New Hampshire. Loving all you guys popping on. Um, yeah, so today was an interesting day. Anyway, so I want to start out by showing you. Um, <laughs> don't get too excited, Jenny. I mean, it, it is cute and it is um, fun, but um, getting the sand in it is a little tricky. So hopefully I won't mess that up. So I wanted to share with you some cards that I've gotten uh, over the last uh, week and a half. Well, since I've been gone camping too. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many of you got to watch me last week uh, live from the Algonac McDonald's parking lot. That was fun. Um, so in August, we're going to go live from the uh, Big Rapids McDonald's parking lot. So stay tuned. Woo anyway, um, I got some cards and I wanted to share them with you because everybody loves happy mail. So this is one of the cards I received and it's made with the in color shimmer paper. Can you can you see that shimmer? And she actually used the dye on it, too, that's in the white paper. And then she uh, heat embossed the flower in white. I don't know if you can see that. And then she watercolored it. And this is from my friend Cindy. She encourages me so much. And the inside of the, <laughs> in the, inside of the card, it says, follow your art. Um, there's another one she does. Um, oh, there's another one. So here's another card she sent me. She sends me like two a week, and I love it. I just love it. Um, these are not Stampin' Up! parts. Well, the blue, the blue gems are, but they're retired. But look at that blue foil paper. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. So in the inside of this, it says, craft like no one is watching. I love it. Oh, it cracks me up. And then this one is done. This is a tree stamp set that we have. Um, I don't remember the name of it. And um, this is done with blending brushes. And then that the trees are um, actually white heat embossed. Isn't that beautiful? And then my friend Trisha um, sent me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. My friend Trisha. My comments aren't coming in, so I'm trying to get them to come in. 
Okay. My friend Trisha, she's from California, and she sent me this card, and it's a book binding card. So it opens up. It's like a book binding. I miss you. And then on hers, she tells me the it, uh, products that she used. Isn't that great? Great idea. And then she also sent me a Christmas card because I'm sure, because I love Christmas and I'm always talking about Christmas. So, yay, I got my first Christmas card in July. Woohoo! So those are fun. Um, I'm just seeing if anyone else is hopping on, but we can, we can start. So um, the card I'm going to make tonight um, and don't panic because it's a lot easier than what it looks. I looked at it and went, oh, well, I won't ever be making that card. And then I saw it and I looked at it. And I kept looking at it. I even, you know, screenshotted it and saved it in my photos and came across it while I was camping. And I'm like, I really need to try to make that. It can't be that difficult. And it really, it really wasn't. So, um, my I showed it to my sister, Sue. I, I took a picture of it and I sent it to her. I said, look what I just made. And she was, oh my gosh. And she was talking to her friend, Jenny, and she sent Jenny the picture. And Jenny says, oh, I hope she's doing it on her live. Well, I am. So here it is. And uh, very cute. I did um, put a a little message in the bottle. And actually, I did not write on that message. I probably should have. Hello, Janice. How are you? Glad you could join us. So, um, and then that's just sand. So it, it kind of shakes, you know, so very, very cute, very cute. So we're going to, we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you how to make that. So the first thing, um, I'm going to point you to my work surface so that you can see better. So if you get motion sickness or anything, you might want to close your eyes for just a second while I point us down. There we go. That's a little straighter. Okay. So we're using the Bottled Happiness Bundle, which comes with the stamp set and the um, punch, which is a shape of a bottle, and it goes over that one. Okay, and then we're also using the ocean front to get the beachy scene. Okay, so we're gonna use two stamp sets and a punch tonight. Okay, so the first thing I need is a a piece of very vanilla cardstock and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter because you remember I always score once and cut once and then I get two cards then I'm cutting at five and a half and, I have that. and actually I didn't really need to um, this might be, that might be a good size. Okay. And then I'm using early espresso. Uh, this is a full sheet, but I'm going to cut it down to five and a quarter by four. Okay. So five and a quarter by four is going to make that framed on the card like that. Okay. Now I need another piece of very vanilla, which is what I'm going to be stamping on. So I want that a quarter inch smaller. So I want that to be five by three and three quarters, which it already is. So then that one's going to fit right over that, like so. Okay, got it? All right, good. You guys are with me. I'm glad. I'm not seeing any comments come in, so I'm not sure. I hope you're hearing me. 
Okay. So I'm just going to take this um, three and three quarters by five inch uh, piece of very vanilla. And I'm going to stamp my water. And in this card, I used balmy blue. But I think I'm going to try pool party. Pool party is a little lighter. So I'm going to see what it looks like. If it's not, if it doesn't work right, I'll just, I'll get a different piece of paper and use the balmy blue. But, um, so I'm going to ink that up. If that's too loud, I'm, I'm very sorry. I want to leave enough room for the message, the sentiment. And then center it in there. And it left that white space and the ink still on there, but that's okay. It's, it's just part of the water, so it's fine. So I'm done with the pool party and the pool party kind of looks green on there. You know, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. So I'm going to cut another one and it's going to be um three and three quarters by five okay then i'm going to clean that stamp and this is my simple chamois um it's just a wet kind of sponge thing it's just wet with water and uh, I just wipe my stamp on it and it cleans it right off. All right, this is balmy blue. Let's try this again. And I have a hair on there. I don't want that on there. Okay. All right. Try this again. Okay, there we go. That, I like that water better. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. And then I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. This looks weird, but I'm using Granny Apple Green for the... I don't know what you call it, not seaweed, but green, the grass. Okay. And I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put this there. And you can position it wherever you want. It, you don't have to follow it exactly like I am. Nancy Van Puren, I know you're not making making comments because you're taking notes. Because that's what you do. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. Then I want some sand um, stamped. So I want that in uh, early, no, soft suede. Early espresso would be really dark. And crumb cake would be really light. So I guess you could do crumb cake and soft suede. That might look cute. So I'm just going to randomly stamp some sand around. Like so, okay. And I'm going to clean that. And then I'm going to take my sentiment, which the sentiment is sending a little message. And I'm going to put that at the top. Hello, Anna. What are we doing today? 
We are making this card. And it's using the Bottled Happiness Bundle and the Ocean Front stamp set. So you're not you're not too far behind. You can catch up here. All right. So that really is all the stamping that's on it. Now the scary part was <laughs> the scary part was punching the bottle. Actually not too bad, but it was one of the scary parts. So it's like, okay, where do you put it? Well, you want the bottle to like be washed up on the sand but um, it's partly in the water too so I'm putting I'm putting can you see this okay there we go I'm putting the the stamp the punch all the way in I'm putting the card all the way till it stops and then I have part part of the water showing and part of the sand and I'm going to punch yikes and there's the bottle and there's the hole for the bottle now I'm not going to throw this away because I want this to be behind there because you can see through the bottle understand so see this I kept that piece so you could see through the bottle there you go all right so, um, I'm going to glue my early espresso. Oh, isn't this nice? I got a new, new stamp and seal refill in my little contraption there. It's so nice to have a new one so it uh, runs better. Okay, I have that down. And then... I want to put this where I, I'm going to glue it, but I'm not going to glue it yet. And I want to put some adhesive on the back of this bottle. Yep, I had to say, okay. And without moving that piece, I'm going to put this right back in. So it lines up, okay? And then I'm going to take this off. So we've got the bottle, the behind the bottle, if you will, glued to the early, uh, early espresso. All right. Now um, I'm going to take one of these vintage bottle shaker domes, is what it's called. It comes in a little box like so. And there's a package of 10 of these. And I just want one of them. And they already have the adhesive on both sides. They've made it so easy to do a shaker. But to get them apart is kind of tricky. There we go. There's one. That's all we want is one. All right. So I want to peel off the protective piece and expose the sticky piece off the top. And then I'm going to lay this right over top and I'm going to push it down all the way around so that it's glued down on all sides because we don't want that sand coming out. Okay, so then we have that. And that's what it looks like on the back. We haven't taken that protective film off yet. All right. So now, and I don't know if there's an easier way. Is the bottle a stamp or actual plastic? It's actual plastic. It's, uh, yeah, it's plastic. So now I want to flip it over. And I have this sand. Okay, so I went to... a a craft, I don't know what they call it, a craft, not a craft show, but a craft expo, craft expo. 
and they had these little jars of sand and I thought, oh, I could use that. I could make cards with that. And I've had it for years and I never used it. Well, now I have a reason to use it. But this little jar, look at that. It was $6. Guys, just go to the beach and get some sand. <laughs> Put it in a little baggie. Um, yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to buy it in a cute little jar, okay? All right, so I did take my plastic off first because I once I get the sand in there, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, jerk the paper around. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour some sand in there. A little bit. Close that up so I don't, um, spill it. And then I'm going to take a one inch piece of very vanilla paper. I'm gonna set this aside just a little bit so I don't jerk it because that would be my, that would be what something I would do. So then because this is cardstock, it's kind of hard to get it started to, to curl. Um, So I'm going to roll it, and this is what's going to be my message. So you know what I should do? I'm going to write, I heart you. <laughs> so if someone ever does someday tear this card apart and look at the message in the bottle, there really will be a message in there. Won't that be fun? And like I said, it's it's hard to twist or curl, roll um, cardstock, but we're getting there. So they said on the news last night, I watched the 11 o'clock news last night for the weather. And the forecast for next week is supposed to be pushing 100. And I'm like, no way, no way, can't, can't handle that, but we will, we'll figure it out. Okay. Then I'm taking some of my linen thread and then I'm just going to tie it around here because you know, every message in a bottle is tied, right? I don't know. I've never gotten a message in a bottle. Have you? And then I'm going to tie it in a knot. Ta-da! And there's my message. And then I'm going to cut the ends off. Set this aside. All right. Then I'm going to take this bottle and I'm, oh, see? I jerked the sand. I'm just going to lay that in there. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure that the threads, the end of the threads, aren't touching any of the outside of the bottle because it won't move inside the bottle if it's stuck on the tape. So now you're like, okay, Arlena, how are you going to flip that over on there? Well, I'm not. I'm going to flip this over here, and I'm going to turn this here, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to put it up over my head and stick it down. And all I'm doing is lining up that bottle. on that card and you know what I forgot to do <laughs> I forgot to put adhesive under here and here and it is not lined up you see it's not lined up I had it lined up better than that but that's okay that's okay whoever gets this card is gonna love it anyway so I'm gonna tape that down there and I'm going to tape that down here 
There we go. Then it's all okay. And then I took these um, frosted and clear epoxy droplets. Um, they are retired, but um, you can use any any kind of, you know, water drops or anything that you have. And I'm going to put one here. Put one. And these are the larger size. One there. And one here. Then I'm going to take the smaller ones, just a couple of them, and put them just next to each other. And my putty's all. No way. Yeah, isn't it that, isn't that crazy how this worked? So I did I did shift it a little bit, but but that's okay. Is that okay? You guys tell me it's okay. Tell me it's okay. So then you got the bottle and you got the sand. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, I forgot to. I want to do early espresso. I forgot to do the bottle stopper, the stamp. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it on here, but I'm going to try. Mm. It's sticking out of the bottle. I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my early espresso um, stamp and write marker and I'm actually going to extend that in there. And color it in. There we go. That looks better. It's okay. Thank you, Nancy. I needed to hear that. <laughs> oh, crazy. So there we go. See, I did get the first one lined up much better. Cute. Do you like it? I got hearts. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. All right. I guess I can put it over here. All right, I'm going to point you back up to me. Hello. So um, that's my project for tonight. I hope you liked it. Um, again, we use the Bottled Happiness Bundle which is the stamp set and the coordinating, coordinating punch. Thanks for demonstrating a technique that is a little more challenging. It is always good to see that everything doesn't um, always turn out perfect. I really like the card. Thank you, Nancy. It doesn't. And you know what? If, if it was me and someone sent me this card, I'd be so wowed by the bottle that I wouldn't notice that it's off center. Well, maybe I would, but <laughs> it would be okay. It really would. I'll have to try. Yes, try it, Nancy. It, you'll, it, it's fun. And then I also use the ocean front for the water and the sand and the grass and, and that. So I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions, you can message me or comment below. Um, also, I've, I've tagged my, thank you, Anna. Um, I've tagged my um, website. So if you want to order any of the products you saw that I used tonight, you can find them there and order there. Um, and that's it. So tonight's Thursday. As Jenny said, it's uh, Friday Eve, which is wonderful. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to... Um, start out my day by uh, donating blood. Um, my last donation, I hit the three gallon mark, which I was very proud, but I didn't start donating blood till I was in my forties. I was very scared of it. Um, 
if you've never given blood and you've thought about it or you thought, no, I'm not going to do it, it will hurt. It doesn't hurt. Um, I have the stamping up punches and dies. Yay! Thank you, Robin. Um, so um, I wish I had started when I was in my 20s because it's a gift of life. And just a pint of blood isn't just for one person. It can save up to three lives. So, um, and what um, Red Cross does now is they will email me when my blood is being used and where it's where it was sent to and how it was used. So um, it kind of makes you connect, you know, that what you're doing is a really good um, thing. I'm glad you're giving blood, Nancy. Nancy and I are like right together when we give blood. We're always a day or two apart. Sometimes we're on the same day. Um, so yeah, um, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow morning, first thing. And then I head to the studio and I get to help Rhonda out for um, tomorrow. And uh, I haven't been gone for two weeks, so I'm kind of getting, I'm having withdrawals. And um, And then this weekend, I'm just concentrating on trying to still organize my craft room. Um, I still have some of my daughter's stuff in here, so I need to move that out, get my shelving units in here and get all organized. Um, and what I'm going to do, hello, Cheryl. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, in August, I'm going to have a BOGO sale. Um, BOGO sale is buy one, get one free, not half off, free. So what happens is if there's a retired set um, that I have that I'm getting rid of, um, let's say it's $20, um, I will have $20 on it and you get it for free, but you purchase $20 out of the new catalogs, the, the annual the and the mini catalogs. Um, if you purchase $50, you get the $50 in items, the retired stuff free, you place the order for the $50. Plus during August, you get celebration items. So you get free things out of this catalog. Now don't hesitate because there are things that have already gone, such as the pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. Those lasted 12 days. And they were out of stock. And once they're gone, they're gone. They don't replace them. So um, I plan on doing that in August. Um, I My 40th wedding anniversary is August 14th. And we leave the 15th for camping. So I'm hoping... Hello, Diane. So I'm hoping that um, my BOGO sale will be prior to us leaving for camping. It's got to be. It, I have to do that. So... Um, Stay tuned. So it's going to be in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'll, I'll advertise it. I'll let you know uh, when it is. It, it will be live. So what I'll do is I'll show the item live, just like a Facebook live. And um, all you do is comment, you know, item number, whatever the number is, sold. And then you keep track. I can tally your total up for you. And then you'll know how much you have to purchase uh, in an order. And then once that order is submitted, I can, um, I will send you an email of how much the shipping is on the retired products, your free product. Um, and the more you buy, I'm going to shove in goodies for you, free goodies. So not only are you getting the retired product, but you're getting goodies too. Maybe some embellishments or ribbon or candy, something, something. So um, stay tuned and look forward to that in the next couple of weeks. Um, the one thing with that is if your order is over $150, usually that, that equates to a, a workshop. So you would get host rewards that would not apply with the BOGO sale. The host rewards are not part of the BOGO sale. So you still get your celebration items. You still get the free retired product, um, but you just don't get the host rewards. Um, that's you're already getting a lot for your money anyway. So I'll keep you posted on all of that too. So until next week, next Thursday, 
Uh, next Thursday, my daughter's coming home from Kentucky. She's got a wedding to go to over the weekend, so it's going to be a quick trip, but I'll be glad to have every minute with her that I can. And um, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool, and uh, I'll see you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.